Why didn't the skeleton play cricket? Because his heart wasn't in it. Now let's begin this Q episode with a situation. A person is experiencing cold sweat. He's also experiencing an aching sensation in his chest or arms that's spreading to his neck and jaw. With the symptoms given here, can you guess what's the person suffering from? No prizes for guessing. He's suffering from a cardiac arrest. Oh, is he suffering from a heart attack? Does it matter? Both mean the same, don't they? Well, time to find out. The term cardiac arrest and heart attack are often used interchangeably, but the startling fact is that these two are two different conditions. You heard me right. They are different. Let's unravel the difference in this Q episode. We already know that our heart muscles require constant supply of oxygen-rich blood for their nourishment and proper functioning. And this job is meticulously done by coronary arteries. But the problem occurs when you have a coronary artery disease. It's a condition where the arteries become narrow and the blood is not able to flow as it should. And what could be the reason for this? One of the reasons could be hardening or clogging of the arteries. This could be majorly because of the build up of cholesterol and fatty deposits on the inner walls of the arteries. These restrict the blood flow to the heart by physically clogging the artery. Due to the clogging, the blood supply will be inadequate. Without adequate blood supply, the heart becomes starved of oxygen and subsequently will fall short of vital nutrients which is needed by it for working efficiently. and the part that's devoid of oxygen rich blood starts to die this can result in chest pain which is one of the symptoms of heart attack identifying the symptoms and getting it treated can save the life of a person if not then it can even lead to a fatal attack now let me tell you a fact here during an attack usually the heart does not stop beating This was in brief about heart attack and one of the major reasons that causes it. Okay, now we know that in heart attack it's usually a particular region of the heart that becomes non-functional but the heart does not stop beating. So is it even possible for the heart to stop beating all of a sudden? Yes, it's possible. In medical terms this condition is called cardiac arrest. Let's understand more about it. A human heart is triggered to beat with regular electrical pulses. But if these electrical pulses become erratic, it results in irregular heartbeats. This condition in medical term is called arrhythmia. This will result in the disrupted pumping of the heart. As a consequence, the heart is unable to pump blood to the vital organs like the brains, lungs and so on. In a few seconds the patient loses consciousness and has no pulse. The patient almost stops breathing or is only gasping. The patient may even die if not administered with proper treatment. Scary, right? It's actually more scarier as sometimes it occurs all of a sudden without any warning, unlike that of a heart attack which usually shows symptoms. Now understanding cardiac arrest and heart attack could make all the difference when it comes to helping someone experiencing such an event. In this Q episode, we try to make you understand the difference between heart attack and cardiac arrest. We know the reasons for having heart attack. Now the question is, what are the probable causes of cardiac arrest? That is, why would the heart suddenly start beating irregularly? Well, this is your Q box to explore. Let us know your findings in the comment section below.